So now that we have processing totally installed, it's time to actually start creative coding. Now, a lot of people like to say that the best way to learn to code is just to start coding. I like to say the best way to be introduced to creative coding is to actually look at creative coding and screw with its settings. So that's what we're going to do. In the description of this video, there's actually a set of code that you can copy and paste into processing, or there's a link to the drawing with code project folder. So I have downloaded that folder right here and I'm going to extract it because it's a zip file. So I will right click on it. I'll hit extract all. Make sure show extracted files is there. Click on extract. Boom. And now you can see I actually have a, an extra folder that popped up right here. That is the actual folder. So I can go ahead and just right click and delete that other folder. That was the zip file that I downloaded. This is what we want to use. So inside here, if I double click, there's a drawing with code sketch for processing. So double click on that, double click in there, double click that code. I'm going to go ahead and X out these two things because I no longer need them and we'll see processing is opening up. So processing is an actual creative coding, um, creative coding software or environment. It uses Java, which is a kind of code, but it has made it so it's specifically meant for people who are just learning to do it. Artists, creatives, kids in libraries, anybody. And as I said, a lot of people like to say that the best way to start coding is just to start coding. Um, the difference for me is that I think the best way to start coding is to actually play with code and look at how the settings are made. So this is a really simple but super cool uh, drawing program. Now there's less than 50 lines of code in here and a lot of those are just spaces to keep it organized, but when you have it, you can actually make this really cool program. So here in processing, you'll see a bunch of stuff. The main thing you want to worry about are these two buttons here, run and stop, and this area here where you actually write your code. So let's go ahead and just start by hitting run and playing with this sketch a little bit. Right now, this black window pops up that you can move around. What I want you to do is just go ahead, move your mouse into it and click and drag your mouse around. And as long as you're holding down that mouse button, you're going to actually be able to draw. Oh yeah. And if you want to erase stuff, you can go ahead and right click with the right click on your mouse in there and boom, it changes the color and erases and you can keep drawing. So what I'm going to say is go ahead and just play with this for a little bit. Just try to draw, see if you notice how things are changing, what's happening when you do what. Spend three to five minutes messing with this and then move on to the next video and we will start pulling this thing apart and actually making changes to it. Have fun.